Hello, Jeromey and team. This is Sam. Here's a little behind the scenes look at our Christmas light video. This station here is my MacBook Pro with an extra monitor hooked up. This is Final Cut Pro X. This is what I'm editing the video in. Um, what I did was shot a multi-cam view of the footage last night. So you'll see all the different cameras I had set up. It was actually multiple takes, but anyway, that's all the cameras. And then this is the timeline here. So this shows, um, like, you know, when the clips are on, where they're on, da 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 and like we can change cameras. So this computer is the computer that actually runs the um, display, and this one hooks up to my demo truck, and it's got an output feed here to the TV on the demo truck, and an output feed here via USB down to the Christmas light controller, and then that Christmas light controller is linked wirelessly from the Ford, the nice new big truck, to the old truck. And I can show you which one. This computer is sitting right there on that truck. And then it's wirelessly linked between these two sitting on the ground. There's a wireless module that's supposed to be installed in this truck. But anyway, then I took a wire from, from that wireless module to each of these trucks. So I can just drive that truck away and it doesn't disrupt anything. When I get back, it just starts going again. But anyway, so this little software here, this is how you actually um, make the lights do what you want to do. So these are the different little timing marks. So as you see, the times go along. It's like 35 seconds, 36 seconds. And then one-fifth of every second, I set it so that there's a grid mark. But you can change these timing grids. Like, you can make it so you tap it every time there's a beat, or you can have it automatically detect it, which doesn't do a very good job of. But anyway, these are all the output channels. Let me see if it'll get to focus. So you see the time scale, then there's all the channels that um, are different, you know, lights on the trucks. And so the top whole section down to below here, this is all the, the new truck. It's got all the lights on it. The shelves and that sort of stuff. Then starting at the E-Master, that's the warning lights for the old truck, the Dodge. And so that, that one's only got one um, node on it. So it's got fewer. It's got about 16 things on it. And down to the next E-Master, that's where the Hummer starts. And the Hummer's only got a few circuits on it. But that's the, uh, yeah, so that's the layout. And then as the time sequence goes along, I trigger, let me turn this thing on. I trigger different... Um, you can see the, that little button turns the audio on. Now you can see the audio waveforms. So like if I'm trying to get something to come on right when a light, you know, when the song goes, da, 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 then it'll go like, da, 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 and that's the big beat. You can see the most change in the waveform. So then I would start that note, you know, right there at the first little line. But as you see here, like, let me just zoom forward. So we'll go to some good stuff. Here we go. So this is the brow light on the four going alternating between spot, flood, and scene. So it goes spot for a few seconds, and then scene starts halfway through, then it goes to flood or whatever. And then you'll see here, like when it goes da, 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 it goes da, 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 and then there's a little flashes, and then it builds up. So if you imagine the time scale, here's the, the relevant beats. And then like as I play it, and I'll show you in a second, you can actually see those relevant beats doing something. And then, so in my trucks, when this bar is solid, that means it's sending an on signal, but because the trucks are actually controlled via these multiplex systems, they don't have the ability to receive some of the advanced signals that this thing can give out. Because like if you look up here, this is able to ramp, like fade it up and fade it down and change the colors and flash it. But my truck is limited because it's actually still a truck. It's not just a display, so it has to be, like I gotta be able to turn it on for the road and that thing. So the only feature I can really use other than steady burning is this twinkle feature, and that's like a flick flickery, fluttery type light, and then I don't have to like space all the little gaps. I just tell it, blink it kind of randomly, and it'll do it. So when you see these hash marks, that's the blinking randomly. And then you'll see it go through. And I changed the color so I would know kind of what I'm looking at. The E-Masters, whenever the red lights come on, you'll see them red there. But then I also have a separate track that I just control the E-Masters on. So if I'm just trying to make the emergency lights go, then I'll, I'll go with this track here so you can kind of see them alternating at the beginning of the movie. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, go here and I'm gonna play this sequence in a second. Ah, oh, shoot, there. I'm gonna play the sequence. I'm also gonna play the video, and then you'll be able to actually kind of see how it goes. So I gotta set the phone down to start it, and then I'll pick it back up. All right, I'm gonna start these together. Go over here. All right, one, two, three. Here we go. So you'll see the, um, this is the output video. But if you look on here, oh shoot, I'm going to start this over again. So you'll see like the first couple lights alternating back and forth, that's actually these here. That's those alternating do 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 And then these up here, 
where you see those going, they are, I can scroll down and see them, they're going to be the shelf lights. You see them there? So those are the shelf lights getting told, come on, go off, whatever, da da da. And they match on here, and we'll see if it'll zoom to a fun part. And so you see that fade up? Oh, that's why that doesn't work that good. I gotta adjust the, the actual video. So that big kashplowy, that's those emergency, um, the emergency light files are actually in the next track, but then the brow lights go in here. See how it goes up there? That's this signal here. Du, du, du. And then it'll all come on. You'll see it all come on in a second. Yeah, that's it all coming on. These are all the different camera views. So anyway, little insight into how it goes. Oh yeah, these are those three. That'll be the fun ones. So you'll see those cannons going, and then you'll see the brow light on the side of the truck. You'll see it start doing its thing, because that's these little flashes there. There you go. So sick! Anyway, that's all. Story of my life. Program out the fire trucks. Make it do cool stuff. And you get to sing a song over and over again. That's what those actual little parts right there.